Hey, this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today we have a line experiment. This is a, another line experiment. This is to test whether monofilament line floats or sinks. I think this has been a, a big misconception out in the industry. And so I just wanted to test it once and for all to, to know if uh, what the actual case is. And so what we have here is we have uh, two glasses of water. This is salt water straight from the canal. This is fresh water straight from the tap. So salt water, right, if mono does float, it's going to have the highest likelihood to float in salt water. So we're going to test that first. And if it does float, then we'll test to see if it sinks or floats in fresh water. And if mono does sink, if it does get prove to sink, then we're going to actually test to see how much different a fluorocarbon line sinks, like the sink rate versus the fluoro versus a traditional mono, right? Just so that we know once and for all what they do and then, and then how much different they are. All right, so the first sink test, this is Andy monofilament. This is 30 pound mono. This is a, you know, a mono that's made for to be a leader line. And I, I just put it in these pliers just to make sure that my finger didn't, didn't impact the results. And so we're gonna sink it in salt water. And so we'll go ahead and drop that in. Three, two, one, drop. And stuck to the pliers, there we are. So now it's dropping. And there you can see it definitely is sinking. Not very fast, but is 100% sinking. So now we'll try the same thing with this line from a Berkeley Trilene. This is a 20 pound traditional mono straight from a big spool. And let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. Again, this is salt water, so if mono does float, this would be the most likely condition that it actually would float in. So we'll go ahead and sink that guy. So that one is just slowly going down there. And so again, I think that does answer the question on does mono float or not. So now let's go ahead and just see, okay, how much different is the fluorocarbon, right? So this is a fluorocarbon main line. We'll try this as a 30 pound main line. This is most comparable to the first one that we tested. Go ahead and cut this guy off, put it in the pliers, and then we'll drop it. There we are. So that definitely sunk and it definitely sunk faster. That was maybe two times faster. We can do a side by side in the editing room to get to know for sure. And so finally we'll do a 60 pound fluoro just to see if the, the, the bigger one drops or sinks any faster or not. Let's go ahead and shake it off here. It's actually sticking to my pliers. There it goes. That sunk actually fast as well. All right, so now for the side to side comparisons, we'll start with the 30 mono versus the 30 fluoro. We'll show a few replays so you can see what's happening. Clearly the fluorocarbon is sinking faster, 2.1 seconds versus five seconds. So about two and a half times faster sink rate for the fluoro versus the mono. All right, so now the 30 pound mono versus the 20 pound mono. I was just curious to see if there was a difference at all. If you look closely, you can see the 30 pound on the left is falling faster. It's just slight though. So as you can see just five seconds versus 5.5 seconds. Not much of a difference there. And so next test was the 60 pound fluoro versus the 30 pound fluoro. 60 is on the left. You can see it was definitely faster. Here's a replay. So the, the size does matter, but not as much as the type of line. All right, so what did we learn here? So number one, monofilament line does not float. It sinks. And uh, again, the fact that it sunk in salt water should be proof uh, that, that it will sink and win in water. And anybody who says otherwise, just send them a link to this video and, uh, and hopefully they will uh, believe it when they see it. And so number two, as far as the, the overall lesson, is that yes, fluorocarbon does sink faster than mono. Comparing just the 30 pound lines, right? Mono versus fluoro, the fluoro sunk about two and a half times faster, which is a big deal. So if you're using all main line, uh, you know, using, like switching from mono to fluoro, can definitely help you control the depth that your lure is running, right? If you want to get deeper, use fluorocarbon. We know it sinks faster. If you have 100 plus feet of line that's all sinking faster, that will definitely uh, change the running depth of your lures. And conversely, right, if you're fishing shallower, shallower areas and you want, it, you want your lure to not be quite as deep or fishing topwater and you're using a full main line of mono or fluoro, the mono will definitely not go down quite as far as the fluoro. But for my personal use, I, I, I use a braid for, for our main line for all my rods and reels now. It just has better feel, better castability. I just, I just love braid. So my, my fluoro or mono usage is, is all for leaders. And so I'm only using a foot and a half to maybe two feet of line. And on that short of a, of a stretch, I've been switching back and forth on mono to fluoro just to see if I can tell a difference or not. And, and I have not been able to notice a difference in the sink rate between those two lines, even when you're using topwaters. 
I really can't tell a difference. So, so although fluorocarbon does sink faster than mono, um, you, know, you, can, you can use either one. And, and the running depths, assuming you're just using it for a liter, the running depths on your lures really won't be changed much. If, it, you know, if at all, it, it's, it's minimal. So not, not a huge contender on, on which line you're gonna be using. All right, well, that was a test. Just wanted to, uh, just to highlight what I found so far on testing out the mono versus fluoro as far as the sink rate. If you found anything different than what I just described, you know, please let us know. Leave a comment down below. I look at all those comments. I would love to hear your feedback. For those who are new to us, right, we're, we're saltstrong.com. We're an online fishing club. We specialize in inshore saltwater fishing. We have a catch more fish or it's free guarantee. So if you haven't yet tried it, highly recommend giving it a shot. And if you haven't yet claimed your lures, these are the Slam Shady Paddle Tails. We've done a lot of testing. These things have proven to work. And we're now offering a free pack to all fishermen, max one per household. So click down below. I'll put a link down for details. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong in wet lines today